Inrochi Hawa Brakata, Yehaw Shah Brachi Hawa Brakata, Yehaw Shah Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Mustrous Women. Lord will you are out of five. Mustrous goes into the origin of muster as well, right? And mustrous, according to Etimon, means of unnatural formation, deviating from the natural order. Hideous, um, repulsive character, object of dread. Now, think about current modern-day Negro women, modern-day Hispanic women, and modern-day Native American women. In most cases, right, they are musters or mustress, okay? Now, according to the scriptures, right, Deuteronomy 28 and 56, the tender and delicate woman among you, meaning what our women were, very feminine, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot on the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. Best believe during the ancient time, our women act like princesses, right? They had good hygiene. They kept themselves up. They ate right, okay? According to Titus, chapter 2, and verse 3 in the NLT, similarly, teach the older women to live in a way that honors the Most High. They must not slander others or be heavy drinkers. Instead, they should teach others what is good. These older women must train the younger women to love their husbands and their children, to live wisely and be pure, to work in their homes, to do good, and to be submissive to their husbands. Then they will not bring shame on the word of the Most High. So as you can see, our women, according to the scriptures, have a protocol as well. And anytime they deviate from this protocol according to the standard of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, they are in a monstrous state such as of a natural formation deviating from their natural order right they have became hideous strange a repulsive meaning a distaste character and an object of dread okay and also according to 1 Corinthians 11 and 3, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Mashiach is the Most High. So when it comes to the Israelite men, they are the cornerstone of the Israelite women. And this is spiritual protocol, spiritual hierarchy. Okay. Now, the current state of our women are monstrous. According to MediaTakeout.com, female rapper Sexy Red brags about having bad hygiene. My coochie stinks, and she's boasting about it, right? And this was published October 22nd, 2023. Female rapper Sexy Red, who is currently pregnant with her second child by two different struggle rappers, went on Twitter yesterday to brag about how poor her hygiene is. Media Takeout learned that Sexy Red proudly took the world, told the world that her coochie stinks and it doesn't just stink, it's stinky stink. She added that this motherfucker stank right now, thank the Lord. But the female rapper is happy about her foul-smelling private area because she claims that it smells badly because she's working hard. As you can see, a monstrous bitch. Monstrous bitches. Okay? Female dogs. And again, their behavior 
makes them monstrous because they have deviated from the natural order. They have become hideous. They are in an unnatural formation. They are literally monsters. They have a repulsive character. They are examples of object of dread. Okay? According to Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For example, Second Ezra 5 and 8, there, sh there shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be often sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mysterious, meaning slacking, slacking, and mysterious women shall bring forth monsters, such as... Sexy Red, Sexy Red, and uh, Suhana, I think, okay? And this is all prophecy. Let's go to Isaiah, the third chapter. For behold, the Lord, the Lord Yahweh of hosts, do take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the host they are bread and the host they are water. So you know that when it comes to this prophecy, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah is behind it. Now, when we jump down to the point. Isaiah 3 and 16. Moreover, the Lord Yahweh said, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, meaning undisciplined, walking and menacing, it's like a menacing as they go and making a tinkly with, with their feet. It shows what that they love these um, ankle bracelets that make the noise as they walk. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord Yahweh will discover their secret parts, that crown, that scab on the crown of their head that's referring to baldness, and it mainly affects the Negro women, okay? So-called African-American women, also so-called Jamaican women, and so-called Haitian women. All right, and the Lord Yahweh will discover their secret parts, meaning that's the reason why they wear these revealing clothes. All right, so we shame the Most High. We brought shame to the Most High, okay, as Israelite men. Now the Most High is affecting us by bringing shame on us, by making our women act the way they do. All right, um, let's jump down. Verse 24, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Hence, sexy red bragging and boasting about her coochie stinks. And instead of a girdle, a rent, meaning what? Our women are made up bad. Okay, especially after they have babies and as well as they age. And that's the reason why they buy these um, girdles, all right, to make it seem like they're not fat, to hold their stomach in and things of that nature. But when that shit comes off, you see them for what they truly are. And instead of wet, it's like, and instead of well-set hair, boneness, literal, and instead of a stomach hair, a girding of sackcloth, and a burning instead of beauty. And these are examples of burning instead of beauty. Lord, will you edify Shalom?